this video we'll be uh, looking at what diabetes is and looking at comparing the two types of diabetes. So diabetes, or sometimes known as uh, diabetes mellitus, is the condition of the body where they are unable to metabolize uh, any carbohydrates or glucose properly. And those people would experience, or more likely to experience, a uh, condition called hyperglycemia or hypoglycemia. When the hypoglycemia is when your blood glucose level is too high, and hypoglycemia is when your blood glucose level is too low. And in either case, uh, if left untreated, could have some really serious conditions: unconsciousness, so you faint, dehydration, uh, and in some extreme cases, it could cause uh, blindness or amputation or even death. So it's a really serious condition, uh, and unfortunately, a lot of people in the world uh, do have it because of our current lifestyle. But there are ways uh, to to treat them once we know what the causes would be. So here we'll have a look at three specific things: is that what is the difference between type one, type two uh, diabetes? Looking at their condition, as in what they is, what they are, uh, and the causes of that, and uh, the potential treatments for it. And then in another video, I will be evaluating or talking a little bit more about uh, the different types of treatments and the progression in that, because actually in exam questions, they quite often like to ask you to link it to other things that you've learned, but I'll cover that in another video. So first of all, let's look at the condition of type 1 and type 2 diabetes. So in type 1 diabetes, sometimes uh, you might have heard them uh, calling early onset diabetes or juvenile diabetes, is because uh, People with type 1 diabetes will usually experience the symptoms when they are at, at, during their children or teenage years. And this is because their beta cells of these people cannot make insulin. Scientists are still trying to figure out what exactly could cause type 1 diabetes. And one of uh, the possible reasons or uh, a particular cause that has more evidence for it now is that type 1 diabetes is actually an autoimmune response to beta cells. So this is a situation where your own immune system, your white blood cells, are attacking the beta cells and killing them, simply saying that you have less beta cells, therefore you can't really make a lot of insulin. So this is type 1 diabetes. Type 2 diabetes is a situation where the beta cells don't produce enough insulin or in most cases uh, the body cells are not sensitive towards insulin anymore. So this type of type 2 diabetes tends to happen to people over 40 years old um, and generally people who might be obese or overweight uh, and leading a unhealthy an unhealthy lifestyle. But the thing is, uh, in the current situation, in our current world, there are more younger people getting type 2 diabetes and that has something to do with uh, our lifestyle or lifestyle choices. Another possible reason is that there is, uh, on our body cells, there would be glycoprotein insulin receptors, basically proteins on the surface of your cell membrane, cell surface membrane that could receive the insulin or detect the insulin. And if they're malfunctioning, that means the body cell didn't know that insulin is there or bound to it, therefore they won't be able to do all of the things that insulin normally causes. So, for example, they cannot increase the uptake of glucose into the cells, they can't convert uh, the glucose into glycogen, etc. Because the thing is, if you don't uh, remove the glucose from the bloodstream into your cells, if you're not able to do that one step, none of the other things could happen. None of the other conversions could happen. So if that first step is not working, then obviously your blood glucose level stays high. Now, obviously, you can see that there are major differences between type 1 and type 2. So type 1 is the fact that they don't make insulin at all or not enough, whereas type 2 is mainly about how the cells become desensitized towards insulin uh, because of lifestyle choices or some sort of um, problem with the insulin receptor. And with that in mind, we're able to probably uh, affect those two things. So for type 1, the patient's beta cells can't make enough insulin or can't make insulin, then one thing is to basically do insulin injection. And this is uh, the one of the most common or the most common treatment for type 1 diabetes. Notice that this is not a cure, right? Treatment is talking about how you can deal with that uh, disease or deal with the symptoms of the disease, but a cure means that you are completely eradicating that disease from the patient. So in this case, insulin injection is a treatment. Now, uh, then there are actually two possible cures for type 1 diabetes, but we'll talk about them in a bit more detail later on. Uh, number one is pa a pancreas transplant. So simply changing the pancreas or giving the patient a healthy pancreas with healthy beta cells that they can make insulin themselves. And in that case, they don't need to inject insulin anymore. 
Another possible one to think about is stem cell therapy. So this is where we could induce stem cells to regenerate the islet cells or the beta cells uh, to produce normal levels of insulin and then inject them or put them back into the patient. So essentially replacing the, uh, the malfunctioning beta cells with healthy ones. In both of these cases, there are more permanent treatments, so almost like a cure. So with these people, if, there's, if the treatment is successful, then basically the patient doesn't have diabetes anymore. So type 1 diabetes is possible to actually cure. Whereas type 2 diabetes is harder, or in some sense, you can't actually cure it. For type 2 diabetes, which is where the cells are not sensitive to insulin mainly, then uh, obviously one of the main things is to try to lose weight or make sure you have a healthy lifestyle. So you regulate your carbohydrate intake, so not take too much sugar, uh, and also have regular exercise to make sure you are balancing that blood glucose level. There are certain drugs as well that could stimulate insulin production uh, if the cause of the type 2 diabetes is because their beta cells are simply not making enough. Or sometimes you can have drugs to uh, decrease the rate of glucose intake into intestines. So it's about, again, regulating the level of glucose. And in certain cases, you could use uh, in insulin injection to treat type 2 diabetes. Uh, but obviously the effects would be different or the effectiveness will be slightly different compared to type 1 treatment because if your cells are completely insensitive to its insulin, then this doesn't actually do much. And these are the differences between type 1 and type 2 diabetes. Notice in exam questions, they quite like to link, specifically by the treatments, uh, linking to other chapters like biotechnology or genetic engineering, which I'll cover in another video.